Well, if you plan to spend any time at the movies this holiday, there are two more films that are likely on your radar. Downsizing, starring Matt Damon, and The Post, starring Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon says at least one of them is worth the price of admission. Sandy. That's right, Liz. It's time for me to talk about one of the best movies of the year and one of the worst. So now, let's see which is which. Watching the first half hour of Downsizing, I thought it might be one of the top films of the year. But what follows is so boring it's near the bottom. Although Matt Damon is perfectly cast as an everyman who learns of a way to make his money go a lot further by downsizing. You want my advice? Lease your lands where you want to be. In Leisureland, your $100,000 translates to $12 million. Wow. His wife, played by Kristen Wiig, is all for it until she isn't. The couple get divorced and she disappears from the movie. A maid who cleans his neighbor's apartment touches Paul's heart and ours. But she's not enough to save a movie that gets so tedious, I would have walked out if I wasn't getting paid to see Downsizing. The Post, on the other hand, is so good, I had to watch it twice. We have the goods. The year is 1971, and the New York Times has published the Pentagon Papers that reveal the U.S. government knew there was no way to win in Vietnam, but kept fighting the war anyway. A federal judge stops publication of the papers, and the editor of the Washington Post, played by Tom Hanks, urges Meryl Streep as the owner to risk prosecution and publish what the Times cannot. Well, we could all go to prison. This is a powerful argument for the need to talk truth to power. The movie made by director Steven Spielberg seems all the more relevant at a time when real journalism is under attack as fake news. The Post gets too preachy at times. There's a little too much telling when Mr. Spielberg could be showing us more. But Streep and Hanks, who have never shared the screen before, are terrific together. It's in just a few theaters now to qualify for Oscars. So many movies to see. You can see all of my reviews for the holiday season at our website, abc7ny.com slash entertainment. David Liz, they're all there. So many. Something for everyone. I think it's fascinating that you mentioned the fact that Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks have never shared mm. the screen before until now. That's true. And to see them act, to see these professionals, these stars at the height of their star power, that's worth it just wow. in and of itself. And then throw, throw Steven Spielberg in the middle right? of that, too. Yeah, and a very, what a combo. Yeah, a story that is very relevant for right now, very even though so. it happened 45, 46 years ago.